Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and today we're doing something that's never featured in this channel before. We're going to be making the ultimate breakfast. So let's roll the intro and then we'll get straight into it. First time we're going to start making this hash brown. So I've got my hash brown dough here. This is just flour, potatoes and egg. So basically, first of all, what we need to do is just need to knead it. Flour. This is similar to our potato scondo that we're going to show you in a minute, but except the fact that the potato scondo doesn't have any egg in it, it's just got butter instead. And if you don't know what a half brown is, obviously you're not British, but or American for that matter. But basically, a half brown is it's potato fried till it gets really crispy. So I think I'm pretty much. Consistency is pretty much doing it for me, I think. So, next, we're just going to shape. Yes, it's quite sticky, it's meant to be quite sticky, so yeah, should be quite fine. So, just put that in half, take the side, and basically just shape in a nice half brown. You may think, why are you not putting any more flour down? It's because I don't want any flour, but yeah. Browns. That's our browns done. So we're going to cut and then we're going to move on to the potato scones. Now we've got our hash browns out of the way. Our hash browns are over there on a bit of parchment paper just to stop them from sticking to anything. Obviously, if you add a bit more flour, it will. So we're going to flour our hot surface again. We get our potato scone dough out. This dough is a bit different from the uh, half brown dough in terms of it is quite a bit thicker, as you can see here, and it's got butter in it. So yeah, I don't know what a potato scone is. It's quite a, it's very Scottish, -ish, so I'll be surprised if you have heard it, but. Basically what potato scone is, it's basically potato It's basically potato, butter and flour It's basically a scone made out of potato Minus the egg and all that It's basically just mashed potato Butter and flour The full recipe of which will be linked down below it's Basically, you get, after you've got your dough You need to Basically divide it You need about half you press them really thin. And tail scones are normally wedge shaped, but to be honest, I've seen them squares, I've seen them in rounds, so to be honest, you use a table knife for this. Don't use, or palette knife, but I actually do have one, just can't be asked to get it. So basically, we're doing this, just get everything round. Sort of like that, that's the thing you're going for here. So we're going to go for sort of this sort of thing here. Details and cooking of it we'll get back to later. So next, what we're going to do is we get our other scones shaped. So this dough doesn't require a lot of flour when you're working with it because it's not that sticky. Because when this fries off, it gets beautifully crispy. Mm. Also, this is this recipe is great for if you can't buy them in the store. Which, as far as I'm concerned, the only place I've seen a potato scone is uh, in Scotland. So yeah. Anyway. Potato scone. Basically, potato scones are really delicious. If you've not had one, make these and give them a go. They're like the best thing you've ever had. I'm just shaping this, reshaping this because I've been out of shape, but I picked it up. We're going to sort of round it, sort of thing. Because, yeah. Why not? Let's be different. You don't want them too thick, you want them quite thin actually. So wait, this thickness will do it. In fact, we can split this in half. And this will do too. These are going to be quite thick potato scones. 
And I think, oh yeah, tail screws can be thin. They are thin. They can be quite thin. So yeah, you're doing them quite thick. Three. Almost like a pancake, but not quite. And also actually these all rise up, so you want them fairly thin. See, well, rise up a fair bit in the pan because I've got self reason flour in them. Next, we're going to move on to get our protein. We're going to be able to get our proteins uh, all cooked and stuff. So we're going to get our proteins out of the fridge. We'll be back in a second. Right, guys, we've got two proteins here. We've got, oh, sorry, got lorn sausage and we've got bacon. Smoked bacon medallions. So basically, if you've not had a lorn sausage, it's basically crust. Basically, sausage in a square. The only place I've seen these is in Scotland, but link sausage will work just as well with this. But if you want to get authentic stuff, either import this from Scotland or don't bother at all. But anyway, it's fine. So basically, we're going to cook these for about 10 minutes, 10 20 minutes, in the oven. People, I know some people put them in the grill, but I've found the oven does work a bit better for Lauren. So, yeah. Then we'll take them in the oven, 10 minutes. And then after that, we'll come back and I'll fry off our bacon. So we'll see you then. So basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to fry off our bacon. Sorry if you can't hear all the noise. That's basically what we've done is I've uh, heated a good glug of olive oil, eh, olive oil, vegetable oil. And let's cook these for about three, four minutes. Probably gonna need to go around again, but they're looking great. I mean, look at that. You can see them looking better on the camera. They're looking good. The only reason these are so far away is so I can actually attend to the oven. Once my lawn is done. So, yeah, they're looking good. Thing all. Get some really nice colour on there as you can see. So, you flip these again, I think. It might be quite tricky. Yeah, we're going to go around another time, I think. Don't burn yourself in the process. It is hot oil. Just be really careful. Well, I'll get that car so i come back when it's these are ready. So, guys, what I'm doing at the minute is I'm just flying off our potato scones. So you can see they're looking pretty good. So, yeah, I have brown or dark. I've been one because I was a sacrificial one. Didn't look that great. I've got, got one, which is good. They're looking great. But we'll come back when both my potato scones are cooked. So the finished product, once you've cooked all your bacon, your got your toast on and all that, should look a bit like this. So thanks for watching. Please like and of course subscribe for more videos like this. And also don't forget to check out my website, which has got the Cook Me Drew forum on it. There you can actually suggest a recipe to me, send me recipes that you want to feature in the channel or whatever. So that's the best place to do that. Also follow all my social medias as well as Cooking Madrid Shorts, which is just quick rapid cooking videos for quick meals. Yeah.